Hey resellers, thanks so much for tuning into today's video. Listen, I was never a cheerleader in high school, but I consider myself a cheerleader in life and I consider it an extreme privilege that I get to cheer you guys on, especially on your reselling journey or on any small business that you're working on in life. And today my cheer for you is that you can do anything, that anything is possible, the possibilities are endless, and you can in fact sell anything on eBay. Okay guys, so maybe you can't sell anything on eBay. There are in fact a list of prohibited items that eBay restricts your, your ability to sell. There are items that are restricted that you can sell within certain guidelines. But I want to talk today about the odd and unusual. I saw someone once sell a bottle of rainwater from a certain Super Bowl. They collected it in the water bottle that they had during the game and it, it rained. I, I don't know what Super Bowl it is. I'm not a football fan. And still Still, this story stuck out to me and was in the forefront of my mind and I, I just think, man, people spend money on really weird things. Now, think about why you chose this job over other jobs. You want to be able to uh, be passionate about something. You want to be your own boss and you want to be able to do things that you enjoy. I have absolutely no desire to buy dirty shoes that I have to scrub that are in brands that I'm not even passionate about selling just to make $20 a pop. Um, if it comes down to just the money, I could clock into anyone else's daydream. But I love selling vintage. You guys, I love selling designer and I love sometimes selling really weird things. You know right now in my eBay I have two cicada shells listed just to see if anyone's going to buy them. And um, about a week ago I listed a potato chip. If you follow me on Instagram you already know that this happened and um, I just thought you know what I'm going to list this potato chip I'm going to see what happens and you know what I sold the potato chip. I put it up at a 7 day auction for 99 cents plus shipping and 7 days later the buyer paid $46.22 for this air puffed potato chip. Do you want to see what it looks like it has been protected in this little box you see this little air puff on the top that is what I thought was special enough about it it's not that special you guys to list this potato chip it almost looks like a cap anyway and I listed this am I telling you to go buy bags of potato chips so that you can sell an air puff potato chip for almost $50 is that what I'm saying if your hope is to sell that chip for $46.22 no probably don't do that Probably do not try to mimic this, but if your hope is to have a little bit of fun on eBay, see if your friends and family may jump in and bid up this chip, then yes, go have fun. If you wanna list a handful of dirt out of your yard, go list a handful of dirt out of your yard. Whatever odd or strange or unusual thing that you decide you might wanna list over on eBay, ensure that it does follow their guidelines. There are certain guidelines even in certain areas that like you're not supposed to take uh, shells off of beaches or rocks out of state parks. So ensure whatever it is that you're selling that is strange or unusual, you have the legal right to sell, but yeah, why not have a little bit of fun? I have 1,420 some odd listings over on my eBay. I think I can afford to have a little bit of fun with this one listing. And $46.22, was it my friends and family that bought it? You bet, absolutely. It was friends and family that purchased this chip. There are not strange people that flocked to my chip. My two cicada shells have um, no offers on them currently and they're listed for like $5. So <laughs> prepare yourself that your strange and unusual thing may just sit there, but you may just wind up with $46.22, a really fun story to tell and a fun story for the buyer to tell as well. But my real reason for making this video is the number one question that I had more than any other question when I told you guys I was gonna sell this chip is, Rachel, how are you gonna ship the chip? Don't worry, I have a plan. There's been a plan all along and today I'm gonna walk you guys through mailing this chip across the country and maintaining that bubble. That was what made it special, that's why I sold it. So we gotta make sure that the buyer receives this chip with that bubble still intact. So step one, it's staying in that, that orange box that I just showed you the chip in. That is its permanent sarcophagus until it reaches its destination. The buyer now owns that piece of uh, Tupperware um, from my home, okay? I'm going to send it in that, but we have to protect it within that box. So let me show you what I'm gonna use. Now guys, sometimes with high profile auctions, the buyer chooses to remain anonymous. And in this case, this very high profile auction, that's exactly what has happened. So I'm not gonna share with you who bought the chip, but I do wanna share the rest of the process with you. This is quilt batting. 
Looks like a cloud, huh? Now I'm gonna spend some time really thinning this out. I want this as airy as possible. I don't want anything dense to really touch this chip. So I'm gonna fluff this out and make it um, big and airy and use the parts that I need to to truly cradle this chip. I'm gonna uh, make a layer on the bottom, put the chip layers around all the sides and then a layer on top of really thin quilt batting. Let's see, just for giggles, I have the chip on the scale now, and of course it doesn't even weigh an ounce. It's not going to touch anything. Let's, let's have a little fun seeing what the package winds up weighing in the very end. But you can see the thin layers that I have here are about to go in this box. Okay guys, this chip is in its fluffy little sarcophagus. I think that's enough batting. I mean, it seems pretty good. I don't think it's going to move around alright. I'm going to put the lid on now. All right, this is good old fashioned mattress pad that I have cut and I'm gonna start lining the box with it. Okay, gonna put a little extra special card in there as well. I may actually put this on top. I'm gonna put uh, another layer, maybe two of mattress padding and then I'll put my extra special card. I, I wish I could include a whole lot of extras in this box but I just don't want anything to risk this chip getting broke, guys. It means a lot to me to be able to ship this across the country without it breaking. Like, that's, that's even, almost bigger to me than selling anything on eBay is knowing you can ship something this fragile and it's gonna make it, so. This means a lot. All right, I will update you guys about, about how this arrived safely at its location as well. Let's get some more mattress pad on there. Man, I really feel good about this, you guys. Like, I feel really good. I thought it was gonna take a lot more than this, but like, I don't even feel like I really need to put this inside of another box. I feel good about this. It's very, very well protected. And it only weighs seven ounces, so. I don't know. I wonder um, how much extra USPS's like extra special service where they like hand deliver everything and it does it goes into like its own private bin. Like I wonder how much that is. We'll ask them at the post office when I get up there how much that is. But I don't think I even need that. Like I really feel good about the way this chip is packed, you guys. Do you feel good about it? Comment below with a thumbs up if you think this is going to arrive to my location um, unscathed and comment with a thumbs down if you think, Rachel, there's no way this chip is going to arrive unharmed. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment now. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay guys, so it was $7.69 to mail the box. I am going to check on the special um, handling at USPS and ask them how much it is to get them to like give it the white glove treatment and the white glove service. We'll see how much that is because again like selling this chip isn't about selling a chip for $46. It's about empowering you guys knowing that you know what sometimes you get a wild crazy idea. Go with that wild and crazy idea. Sometimes you know things may seem totally outside of the box or people may even laugh at you or ask you what the heck are you doing. It doesn't matter. Do it anyway. If it's fun seize the day. Carpe diem right? Um, like interrupt your day with things that just bring you joy and then also I want to empower you guys to know that you can ship anything like there are packing materials out there you know my standby is a mattress pad that will allow you to ship breakables quit passing over so much profit because you're afraid to ship it start with something really inexpensive maybe 50 cent item and you know um, the mattress pad is ten dollars and it's not gonna take an entire mattress pad it's gonna take a portion of a portion of that so maybe a dollar's worth of that mattress pad mail the item if it arrives broken you're out shipping and you're out what the 50 cents or dollar that the item costs you and the dollar for the mattress pad you're not out that much money and at least you tried to ship that breakable you will get better at it but if you use that mattress pad I'm thinking it's not gonna arrive broken um, I really want to encourage you guys with that I have a shipping video where we used that mattress pad and we dropped fine china and a glass vase off of a balcony and played soccer with it. I'll link it below. If you haven't seen that, it's a stellar video. I would encourage you to watch that and I'm a little more in depth about the packing process. But guys, just like believe in yourself. Whatever your dream is, I don't care if it's selling potato chips. Like somebody had to think up some of the, the items that we use every single day. Someone had to think those up. Someone had to be the first person to say, let's do this and, and go a different direction with it. Things. Don't be afraid to march to the beat of your own drum. I believe in you.
Even if you don't believe in you today, if it was a struggle for you to get out of bed today, because I, I understand that people are, are struggling with things that causes them to feel incapable of even getting out of bed. If you don't believe in you today, I believe in you, okay? If no one else around you is cheering for you, I am cheering for you. Like reach out to me personally over on Instagram. I promise you, you're not gonna find a person that will tell you they have messaged me over on Instagram and I haven't struck up a conversation with them. Um, I, I want to connect with every single one of you that is watching this video so subscribe to the channel follow me over on instagram please like this video on your way out i'm guilty of the same i'll watch a video i'll absolutely love it and then the next video starts playing and i forgot to ever like the video it lets youtube know that i did a good job on this video it helps to push out the videos and guys i really want to blow this channel up i want to blow this channel up because that's that many more people that i can encourage that's that many more people that i can cheerlead through their reselling journey and it's that many more people that i can offer a 100 percent free education which is what will always be here on my channel man you guys just mean the world to me i hope that you enjoyed this video this isn't the last you'll hear about it and um but I just had to share with you guys because so many people were asking me, how are you gonna pack that chip? And I promised there would be a whole video. So God bless you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, treat your business like your business.